好，我是邓丽君，很感谢这么久以来啊、呃，大家对我一样的喜爱和支持。为什么这么受欢迎呢？嗯，我想是因为我们都一样一条心，喜欢呃具有中华文化的一些歌曲。We have a you know a lot of、uh, efforts from artists to our technical team. We have like a division full with artists from the hair. To you know the facial expression, we have machine learning, we have engineers. It's all of our efforts to come up with this you know virtual Teresa they they present to you today. Right. So we hear a lot about the virtual human technology. What is it all about, and how do they learn and interact with us? So originally,、um, you know, from the beginning,、um, because we are a visual effect house, so of course is. Is full with post production. Is、um, you know, is our artists playing magic? But、uh, you know, nowadays, especially ever since、um, you know 2008, we have a major technology breakthrough. We have hugely rely on machine learning, deep learning, AI, and most importantly, is a combination from not only our visual effects tools,、uh, you know, the gaming engine as well. Gaming engines play a very important part. So nowadays, not only We can make excellent, you know, like the best movie, such as like Avengers, right? We just finished a movie Mobius. It's using a lot of、uh, virtual human technology. Nowadays, not only we can use the best, you know, visual effects tool, but combined with, you know, gaming engine, machine learning AI, this is exactly the reason why we can have a virtual human in front of you having interaction with.、You. I speak many languages. If you like, I can respond in a different language. Please respond in Spanish. Hola, ahora estoy hablando en español. Esto suena bien. Why do we need virtual humans, and how are they going to be part of our lives in the future? There's a huge demands from Hollywood, right?、Uh, not only from how to create a virtual character, right? And also,、uh, you know, <clears throat> nowadays Hollywood,、uh, like the top tier celebrities, they need the digital double. Not to mention about during COVID, right? A lot of、uh, celebrities they don't want to travel a hundred miles to a place they have to quarantine themselves or put themselves into a risk of getting COVID. So virtual human is huge for our industry. But I guess the question is, how can we have this piece of technology not only to serve the film industry or commercial industry? But we can actually have a tool for the end consumer.、Uh, we have been, you know, having a lot of discussion internally,、uh, and you know, it's a huge opportunity not only for the company like us in in, in the visual effects, but also for the business in education. Think about it, especially during COVID, right?、Uh, children are not going to school. How we can have a virtual human teaching children? Imagine, imagine this: our virtual human technology. If we have Elsa. Teaching children Mandarin or English, right? That would be cool, right?、Uh, think about the hospitality, right? Especially during the you know this very difficult time, when you are going into a hotel, you don't want to talk to a concierge anymore. And not to mention, every time when we have a new technology, gaming industry always got benefit, right?、Um, you know, with the, the previous virtual reality, with our virtual human technology, they can create a new you know domain for the gaming industries as well. So we have seen deep fakes and other. Forms of visual manipulations. What are the concerns when you're developing virtual humans, and what is your company doing to mitigate these risks? Very good questions.、Um, you know, even even ourselves, right?、Um, when we first discover we have this, this you know this technology,、uh, you know, year 2008, when we are、uh, by using a virtual human to、uh, uh, to make the movie Curious of Case and Benjamin Button, right? And then.、Um, Not only we can make people younger, older, right?、Um, in year 2012, we actually brought you know iconic、uh, rap singer、uh, Tupac back, you know, in life.、Uh, we we have a concert for him in a Coachella festival, and that is the first time that people actually think seriously think about this issue, right?、Uh, 
uh, when you have the tour, that not only can make people younger or older, but you also can bring that people, that celebrity alive, that create a lot of ethical issues for sure. Uh, I, I want to use this opportunity to say that the, the technology that we're using is not defake, right? Uh, uh, so, uh, so basically, uh, what we what we are doing, uh, not only while using our you know uh, uh, you know visual effects tools plus gaming engine and machine learning, we actually develop our own you know uh, the pipeline and uh, patents for virtual human, and 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 yes, we are facing an ethical issue, which is. Um, Will it be a serious uh, ethical issue when you are using virtual human? Definitely. Um, so, for example, then when we are uh, the first, the first uh, virtual human uh, death celebrity, uh, you know, the legendary celebrity that we have been working with, the family, which is Teresa Tam, we have signed a deal uh, with the family, the Teresa Tam family. Um, the one who is running the foundation, uh, his name is, uh, you know, Frank Dan. He is the, uh, the retired general in Taiwan. So um, he was resistant about this idea of we can make his sister alive and singing, performing, speaking in front of people. So, um, and more is like we were trying to share an idea, an idea that based on that we are not going to, uh, you know, over utilize uh, his sister uh, for, you know, some commercial goods, right? So I also share the idea of uh, if we are going to make uh, Teresa Tan alive, what we're going to make sure to him is we're going to let his, uh, her fan base, to let the people who, who can tribute her again. Every decision that we made, we made a decision with the family together. That is the bottom line. But to answer your question, uh, we have our internal guideline and rules to dealing with um, the virtual human. I'm not quite sure about how the we're going to uh, face in the future because uh, I, I, we are not the only company can do it anymore, right? A lot of companies can do similar things, probably not with the Hollywood standard. But you are right, this is going to be an issue. And it's issue not only from the ethical side, it's also from the legal side, right? It's also about, you know, uh, how do you differentiate uh, your virtual likeness and your virtual human rights? And how are you going to justify that even if you are uh, signing a contract with the family, how can you justify something that is this something not disobey her or his will, right? So to, this is a very tough question. All we can do and all we are trying to do right here is to do our best to make sure that we are sending the right message to the public. Daniel, thank you very much for joining us. I really appreciate it. Thank you. It's a great pleasure. 愿时光匆匆流去，我只在乎你。心甘情愿感染你的气息